The Lore X Wrath mod just got an update, and in this video, I want to go ahead and cover each character that we see in the mod and also the backstory. So, what's actually going on here? I also want to make sure to cover the second form of Lord X because I think it's the first time that he's actually popped up in a mod in that form. Now, obviously, the first character that we're going to explain is going to be Lord X. Now, Lord X is an extraterrestrial being originating from the space between universes, or aka, he's basically a creature that's made of void. And even though technically Lord X can take any form that he wants, he has this fascination with Sonic the Hedgehog, which is why he looks like a monstrous version of Sonic. Now, personally, I think he does this because we all know that Lord X is very intelligent, and I believe that he thinks that if he takes on the persona of a hero, people will be more likely to actually trust him, and it will make it easier for him to tie them into his twisted games. Because when you really look at Lord X, he's basically like if you gave a very smart but demented evil child endless power, and in turns, he sees humans and just other creatures in general as like toys. And I mean this in a very literal way. Lord X basically likes to play games with his victims that are obviously rigged against them. And if they lose, Lord X will basically devour their body and their soul. And we actually see a great example of this in the mod when we see Lord X as boyfriend if he wants to play another game after boyfriend defeated him initially. Oh, well now, you've won. Best out of three. <laughs> And as a quick side note, we also have to give props to Boyfriend for holding his own against Lord X without Girlfriend's help because I think we all know and I've said it before that Lord X is one of the scariest and most dangerous and most powerful versions of Sonic.exe. We also get to see how scary Lord X can be by looking at the characters that he has turned into zombies in this mod. We get to see Tails, Knuckles, Dr. Robotnik, and Cream have all been turned into zombies. These are all the characters that basically lost their battles or their game against Lord X. Now, some of you may be wondering how Lord X actually corrupted these characters. And basically, just because Lord X takes on the form of Sonic doesn't mean that he can't take on other forms. What I mean by this is that he can basically shapeshift into anything that he wants, and he's also a master manipulator. And if you're unlucky, he can basically take any character that he wants to a pocket dimension where he is basically unstoppable. When you're in this dimension, you cannot take him out, and you basically have to play his game. And I think that's what we see here in the mod. We see that Boyfriend has been taken to a completely different scene, and we also get to see all the zombies that he has taken there. A sad fact here, though, is that while obviously Tails is very young, Cream is still the youngest character in the Sonic verse. If I remember correctly, she is only six years old, which means that Lord X literally has no mercy, even for the children. Now, something else that I find really interesting that we got to see in this mod is the inner form of Lord X. Some of you may have noticed that in all the versions of Lord X, he always has hands coming out of his mouth, but we didn't actually know what that was. It turns out that the form that we get to normally see is just Lord X's outer skin. He has a larger, creepier version of himself hidden inside. In this artwork here, we get to actually see him peeling off or pulling down his skin to reveal this elongated form. And something else that I find interesting here is that some of the characters that have been taken over by Lord X have this toy-like form to themselves now. As you see here, Knuckles looks like some type of Mary Marionette, and we also get to see Cream looking like a doll, which in reality kind of fits the whole aesthetic and personality of Lord X. We also get to see three characters pop up into free play slash the Christmas version of this mod. We get to see Sunky.mpeg, we get to see Exilar, and we also get to see Exterior. Something that I find funny about having Sunky in this mod is that Lord X doesn't see this character as a threat or even like a real EXE. He sees him as more like a jester, like a joke character that just kind of makes him laugh. Now, Exelor and Exterior have a little bit of a deeper backstory, and I'll go ahead and put that here. What I find interesting about Exterior is that he's described as being a ruthless, powerful arch demon who basically broke out of hell and possessed the body of Sonic the Hedgehog. And his whole mission is basically to take over Mobius with demons and protect them from the highest. Now, I know that may not make sense, and that's because these characters have like a whole in-depth backstory, and I'm going to try to summarize it. Basically, before Exterior became this arch demon, he was something that was called a Highest, which are basically these all-powerful cosmic entities who actually created the world in which Sonic lives in. Now, you would think that since Exterior used to be this powerful celestial type being that he was probably happy with his existence, but there was one event that actually made him dislike being a Highest. Apparently, it was a regular event where the Highest would basically have to erase Mobius, meaning all existence, and then recreate it. And interestingly enough, they don't really talk about why they need to reset Mobius after a certain amount of time. But just imagine that if God just basically wiped out everything on Earth and then reset it every 100 or 300 years or something. 
Now initially, this didn't really bother Extoria, but after time, he actually started getting attached to the people on Mobius and he didn't want to just erase their existence. So he basically decided to disguise himself as a demon and go down to Mobius and actually learn what was going on with the people. And to make a long story short, Extoria basically ended up getting into a fight with the other Highest because he was obviously breaking the rules. Now he did have some people fighting alongside him and that's where Provision and Sark are going to come in later, but that was not enough to help him actually win. He ended up losing this huge battle that he started and he ended up being sent to hell and imprisoned. Extoria was in prison for about 4,000 years and the only reason that he was actually able to break out is because there was some huge outburst from the Master Emerald. And once he was free to walk on Mobius again, one of the first things that he did was possess Sonic the Hedgehog. Now funny enough, Exler and Exterior have very similar backstories and since they're both considered to be highest, a lot of their powers and abilities are pretty much the same. Now something that's really interesting about these two though is that they are going up against Lord X in this mock. And funny enough, these two together could probably take out Lord X, especially since he's not in his own little pocket dimension. And what a lot of people don't know is that while Lord X is powerful, he actually can be killed. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to check out this video on the screen here. Subscribe to Daily Become a member of the Orse Force, and we'll see you tomorrow with another one. Peace, peace.